right guys so my first ride man it starts up first time every time um, wasn't doing that with the stock car so um, when it starts up the idle is a little high but I'm just documenting this stuff because um, like I said I have to tune it I put a 122 jet in there with a 36 pilot um, I got the idle screw out I don't know like one one maybe so all right let's get on let's see what it goes like see how it feels like so right. so so far so good with it um, just pulled out the house yeah so far so good Still got to fix this throttle a little bit more uh, just to make it feel more snappier but it's, it's doing its job you know shaky so maybe I do need to to, to um, change the jet but so yeah what's good everybody hope everybody's doing good uh, feels good a lot faster but um, you know see how it goes but yeah, it definitely does feel faster but um, you know too too soon to tell I just the throttle pull feels a lot longer than it was before but that doesn't bother me either just so have a new throttle cable on there But for it being what it is, with me not even really having a proper tune on it, because look, I don't, I'm not the best when it comes to these things, I'm honestly. <laughs> but I do good enough and watch enough YouTube to know what it. So yeah, they must be looking at it like they, that thing got a, got a plate on it. I'm like, yeah, it's street legal. But no, you know what? I definitely feel more power. I probably should have put this carburetor on my my Venom X22R. It probably would have been a, been a big difference. Um, I, on that, I still had a generic, you know, was it PZ30 carb on it. RPM, it doesn't feel like it's bogging, so maybe it's not too rich. Uh, I want to keep an eye on the uh, engine temperature. That's why I'm glad I have a, a gauge on here for the temperature. Because I know from the last time um, when I had the stock car, it was probably running a little too lean. Because it was getting hotter than I wanted to. I probably need to turn up the idle a little bit. Yeah, I gotta turn the idle up a little bit. This is a VFR, haha. <laughs> feels 
more pull to it. So yeah guys, if it's a little more, bit noisier, uh, I got my uh, ILM helmet on, my white helmet that, you know, I'm a little bougie if you want to call me. Anytime I uh, have a different bike on, I usually have a different helmet. Um, I don't know, I just like my helmets to match my bike. <laughs> It is what it is, man. I didn't adjust this mirror back how I had it. There we go. So yeah, I'm not going for top speed or anything. Just want to feel what the torque is like. That's cool. He's probably got an older VFR. Maybe a 750. He's probably like, how's this thing keeping up with us? I'm like... The supermoto, dude. You might see me in shorts. You might see me see me in certain things, but you'll never see me without a helmet. That's for sure. <laughs> so yeah, really wanted to get a feel for it out on the street. I did kind of miss riding this thing around. It's, um, it's a real fun bike to ride around and to just ride on, you know? Like, it feels very comfortable, sturdy. That's the main reason why I kept this one. Well, I just got it, that's one thing, and I love this thing, but compared to my other 250, um, this one is a lot, it's built a lot better to me than the X22R, you know? So yeah, I'm still gonna I'm gonna start riding my 250 again here and there. Um, I mean, not start riding it again, but what I mean is I'm gonna start having more videos about it again. That's what I mean. I think I'm going to stop in a minute and uh, adjust my idle a little higher. about I want to say 600 miles maybe so far well I'll tell you this much I got a headwind in front of me pushing me back but 65 <laughs> definitely got a, I never got to 65 I guess the highest I got to was like 64 before but I never pushed it and really I'm not even pushing it but yeah this thing can definitely go to 70 we'll see once it's broken in really more if it gets higher than that which it probably will you know definitely a big big difference now that I've been riding a little bit more um, a lot I don't want to say a lot more like an astronomically but a lot it feels like more power you know like I have more power than what I had before um, it's running a lot cooler maybe because I'm not as lean <laughs> but it's definitely running cooler than it was before one thing I do like about um, these nibby carbs is that I just turned up the idle a little bit just right here. The, the idle screw is so big. Okay. Um, seems 
bike is doing good so far. Definitely goes over 8,000 RPMs when the stock car was kind of struggling to do so. Not that I wanted to go that much all the time, but you know, it doesn't, it doesn't, this thing you don't need, I don't know what red line was for it, you know, but we're just gonna assume that it's like eight to 9,000 or 9,000. I'm not gonna try to get it past that anyway. So, but on fifth gear, it goes past 8,000, no problem. So I know my top speed will be over 70 by the time it's broken in and stuff. So yeah, Nibby card. <laughs> So Nibby Carb was a success, success. I love when things go how I wanted to. Um, at first I really did feel defeated because I didn't know what was going on. But in my mind is like, too many people has, have used this car on their 250. So why wouldn't it work out for me, you know? It's gotta be something I'm missing. And when I took the carb apart and I was looking at how the slide was with the stock, Table, I'm like, oh, it's too much, letting too much air in. This thing is not closing 100%. So, you know, when I let off the throttle. So anyway, so when I started with the actual throttle cable off, it was fine. I'm like, okay, so it's the throttle, throttle cable. Um, and we got it worked out, you know? I mean, I, I, luckily I had an extra throttle cable. I think I got this with my, for my 250 DF, my X22R, when I got the uh, carburetor for it. my GoPro mount a little bit but hopefully you guys can still see everything but yeah guys um so um I'm definitely uh done with this bike but I'm not done tuning it so uh stay tuned for that we're gonna see how that goes um definitely cooler engine temperature let's just say that so by like maybe 30 degrees 30 degrees normally so yeah, I was definitely too lean before. Um, you know, that's how it works. Some of, it works out sometimes. You put in a bigger jet, you think the jet is big enough, but you know, you gotta, I'm not the best at this. It is what it is. But when I tell you I'm gonna figure it out, that's what's gonna happen. So I turned up the idle a little bit, but it's still um, not, 100% there, you know. See, I'm not even wide open throttling it. So yeah, it's power there, man. Yeah. <laughs> So man, if you have a 250cc and you haven't put the Nibby carb on, it's definitely um, a difference. It definitely, uh, uh, almost a big difference, almost a big difference. So I definitely recommend it for anyone to get it. And um, you know, for what everybody says on it, because I've read reviews on YouTube, I've read reviews on Amazon, um, when people were, you know, when I was buying this car for the price it was, because I'm like, I, you know, I haven't bought a car bought in a carb this expensive for one of my um, air-cooled engines you know but yeah guys everything feels good with it I just gotta um, tighten this uh, or get this this throttle cable adjusted how I want but um but I might just buy another one for it we'll see how it goes Yeah, it gets to 50 so much faster, man. <laughs> Crazy. But yeah, guys, appreciate you riding with me. I'm heading on in. Um, be back with another ride tomorrow morning. We're probably going to go to the doggy beach again. Um, we'll see. You know, take you guys along for the ride. But appreciate you guys. I'll be back with another one. Peace.